Hello, welcome to miniequipment.com. We're going to do a audio slash video YouTube blog post today to answer a couple questions we get on a fairly regular basis. Actually, one leads to the other. Uh, first, your Brock 90, you put it up for sale, huh? And the second question is, why? All right, let's get started. Here's a picture of us uh, using our Brock 90 and our CB electric excavator side by side. Uh, right after the development of the CV electric excavator. Uh, here's another picture of us using the Brock inside of flavoring plant. And then finally, we've got a photo here as we are packing the Brock up for the day, wrapping up. All right, quick answer to the first question. Yes, we did sell our Brock 90. Now let's get to the more important question, why? All right, the why. Uh, the reason we first looked at the Brock 90 to begin with is because we had five main needs. Uh, we needed something that was no fumes, compact in size, good digging, good hammer, efficient concrete removal. And uh, we got tired of going indoors, hospitals, food processing plants, uh, more and more and more. You guys are seeing the same thing. Scrubbers aren't being necessarily accepted, propane, diesel, no matter what you do. It's uh, some places are no fumes at all, which means lengthy, costly, manual hand labor. And uh, we got real tired of having to deal with that. And in the Brock, we, we found most of those things. But uh, if you look around throughout most uh, forums or video posts on uh, Brock by Brock owners throughout the, the world and country, most of them will say it's not really necessarily the best digging machine. Um, but uh, obviously, it's got a lot of good benefits, which we saw, which is why we went with one. However, we realized that uh, 9 out of 10 of our projects really didn't need the remote control and really didn't need the ability to have, you know, 13 foot high reach. And also, we didn't want the long learning curve, you know, that comes along with operating the machine and the cost of providing proper maintenance. Uh, and also, you know, this probably varies depending on how you operate, but you know, when you got a piece of uh, machinery that expensive and that sensitive, you can't tie up your best guy to watch that person or you can't be there to watch that guy running it all the time even though sometimes deep inside you want to because you know one mistake can be pretty costly when you invested in something like that so we realized actually that what we needed more of was the digging ability and the efficient concrete removal that's what we found for the type of work that we get involved with i'll explain how we kind of uh, have figured that out with our cb electric excavator and we'll start wrapping this up all right also, uh, don't forget to visit www.mini-equipment.com uh, for more photos, videos, testimonials, uh, specifications, all that good stuff. We will wrap up briefly here with a short video clip of the thumb in action because I think a lot of people underestimate the value of that. But uh, let's talk real quick here. Dig depth, uh, digging ability, and uh, efficient concrete removal. So we got a six foot four dig depth uh, on the machine where you can fit a 24 uh, inch bucket uh, attachment. So pretty efficient for in interior digging. Way, way, way more efficient than a bunch of hand labor. And obviously it's an excavator, so that's what it was designed for. So it will, it'll out dig the Brock. Uh, then we've got the thumb, because sometimes we will electric saw, so you don't really need the hammer to break concrete. But it's still nice for us to pick up large slabs. We picked up slabs, uh, three foot by three foot, nine inch thick concrete. Once again, you can see a video of that that was inside of a hospital at our website. Uh, but that thumb comes in handy with making that concrete removal very quick and efficient. Okay. Most of our hammering is below seven feet. We don't need the height. We do a lot of uh, concrete removal. Uh, floors, different things of that nature, and don't necessarily need the height. The good thing is the power that the Brock 90 brings to the table uh, with that Atlas Copco hammer. We run the same hammer as the Brock 90 on this machine, so you do have that power. Uh, bottom line, guys, it's going to make you more time. It's going to make you more money. It's going to make you more productive. It's going to make you look good in the eyes of your customer. You can go in and get things done quicker than they probably would assume that they could be done when you use efficient equipment and methods to go about doing this stuff. So uh, enjoy sharing with you here for a few minutes. Uh, enjoy this last 30-second uh, video clip of just showing the thumb in action, then head over to mini-equipment, mini-equipment.com.